Welcome to the Super IGA here in Wembley where I've come to shop for some super fresh ingredients and cook the team here a little snack. Today we're going to be making some pan fried halloumi, Greek style, roasted hazelnuts go over the top, lemon thyme which is only available at this time of year, some grapefruit, fresh local olive oil and a little drizzle of honey just to balance the saltiness of the halloumi. We're going to kick things off with roasted hazelnuts. So I've pre-roasted these at about 180 degrees for around 7 minutes. So you've just got to rub the hazelnuts in the tea towel, scrunching away, and that way it just slowly moves the skin off the hazelnuts. Now, you're not going to get all of the skin off, so any of where it's stuck on, just leave it. They're totally fine to use. If you've ever been chopping seeds and nuts at home, you know that they kind of bounce off the board as you're trying to cut through. So the trick is to actually pop one hand over as you chop and just do a little cross chop. So any bits that bounce, hit your hand and just fall back down. So what you're after is a mix of textures here. So some coarse, you can see it kind of floats to the top. And then below we get a nice fine hazelnut crumb that will just stick to that fried cheese. Absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we're segmenting our grapefruit. To do that, we just chop off the top and the bottom of the grapefruit. All right, we can see our little segments in there. So now we just need to remove the skin from the outside. And now the fun begins. All we're trying to do here is virtually wedge out the perfect fruit, leaving the pith at either side. The trick is all in the angle. So what you want to do is wedge it out, making sure that you're actually meeting the first cut as you cut in with the second, and then you have this perfect little jewel of grapefruit. And from here, it's a quick, rough chop to give us little baby jewels of grapefruit. So I've just popped the grapefruit over a little bit of paper towel. We'll sit that aside and it can drain and just lose any excess juice. So next up is our halloumi. Just slice straight through the middle. The trick here is just slicing through each middle section. The most important thing is about a centimetre, a centimetre and a half thick. Nice and slow, what you find is that you go really, really fast with this. It can break in half, similar to feta. And perfect. We've just preheated a fry pan here. Olive oil goes on. Let that oil heat through. We can start popping in our halloumi slices. You can hear that nice little sizzle. What you're looking for is a nice, light, even golden crust on each side. And then we can take them off, they're good to go. Now these can be a little slippery to get out of the pan, so my trick is to just use the tongs, push the cheese up the side, and you can kind of just catch it from the edge. These are best served while they're still warm and oozy, so now for the plate up straight away. So our hazelnuts are the same colour as our halloumi. They can go right on the bottom. Next up is our beautiful little bits of grapefruit here. Straight sort of down the middle, keep it mostly on the cheese so that the centre of attention. And lastly, our lovely lemon thyme. And to finish, some fresh local olive oil and some local wildflower honey. Seeing you next week.